Hello everyone. Welcome to Google Apps Academy. In this tutorial series, we will be exploring how to develop a to-do list app using clean architecture and the MVVM design pattern in SwiftUI. If you would like to access the source code for this project, be sure to subscribe to the channel, take a screenshot and send it to the email provided in the description. We will send you the source code. In today's video, we will focus on the date manager. Before we dive into that, let's understand the concept of date object and environment object. When we want to update the UI with the updated data, we will declare the object which we depend on as a state object. And then if we need to pass this object to the child views where we are going to update this value, at that moment, we will use the environment object so that child views can access it and modify it. We will be applying these concepts in our date manager. Let's start by creating a new Swift file and name it as date manager. Inside this file, create a class named date manager and make sure it inherits from observable object. Whenever we want to declare an object as state object and pass it as an environment object, it should inherit from observable object. Before we proceed further, we need a weak model. I have already created a Swift file for this model. Now let's head back to our date manager. We have two important variables, week and selected date. To ensure that our UI is updated, whenever we change the values of these variables, we will mark them as published. This way, they can notify the UI when changes occur. Great. Now let's check out the functionality. Our calci week function calculates the past, present and future weeks. This function uses a week model and provides the necessary data. Additionally, we have a method to select today's date and another to select a specific date. Finally, we have an update function that will be used when we scroll through the date slider. We will explore this more when we implement the functionality inside the view. Next, go to the app and create a state object of date manager. Pass this as an environment object to the content view. Now that we have passed the variable, we can retrieve it in any child view or content view. Head over to the date header view and create a date manager variable. Use the environment object attribute to retrieve the data. Perfect. Inside the month view, based on a certain condition, update the caption dynamically. In the second view stack, set the selected month using the selected date. When a click occurs, call the select today function inside a with animation function. This will make the UI properly shift with an animation. If you encounter an error saying that there is no one to string function, don't worry. I have already prepared a date extinction that contains the necessary utilities for this app. You can pause the video and check it out. Perfect. The error is gone and I'm able to see the text. That's it for this video. In the next part, we will implement the date slider. Until then, happy coding. Thanks for watching.